My name is Gustavo Victor Golet, and I'm an art conservator and, uh, and a carver, uh, a contemporary uh, sculptor. I work specifically with uh, uh, religious artwork, uh, mainly uh, saints in particular. Uh, as far as the restoration and the conservation goes, I, uh, I specialize in the older New Mexico santos and, and the history of the New Mexico saint maker. Uh, I represent one of probably 400 uh, saint makers that are working uh, here uh, in, in New Mexico today, uh, both male and female. This particular project uh, was presented to me uh, by a, a client that I have, an individual that's uh, uh, interested actually in the growth and the progression uh, of the New Mexico uh, saint maker putting together a very sort of dynamic uh, uh, design that has a lot of movement uh, in it uh, and also has a lot of iconography. This is the uh, ascension of Christ, so he's represented with angels around him as he's being carried up to heaven and at the foundation at the base we'll have the 12 apostles representing further iconography for that uh, particular theme. But the whole idea is to get this sense of movement as this piece sort of rises and that's where the complexity of the carving comes in and some of the structural aspects uh, behind it. The very beginning uh, of this piece would be, of course, you know, picking the wood, you know, and then making sure that you have uh, the proper tools or a woodworker that's going to help laminate the wood, that is, to put it together, where the seams, where your joinery has to be immaculate. And that's the most crucial step in your initial step, and in that if that is not right, mm -hmm. you're going to have problems later on down the line. Once you have your wood laminated, you know, we assume that I've already been working on all these sketches and I've done to scale sketches. So once I have a to scale sketch, I can enlarge that, transfer it onto the piece of wood. And then from there, we can start reducing um, uh, the material. The actual process of carving is you know, a reduction process, you're removing material. You know, with a piece, again, this size, it's something that you really have to, you know, sort of think about ahead of time, and I'm a little hesitant uh, in, uh, with something uh, uh, that's this complicated, uh, so the removal process is somewhat slower. I use a variety of, of tools uh, to do that, starting initially with a chainsaw, or, uh, and then even a smaller chainsaw, and other grinding tools to remove the initial material. But always still going back between hand tools and you know a mallet and just pounding away. And it's you know pieces that are this big are much more physical. So you use a, a sort of a larger variety uh, of tools, not only larger chisels, but you know we have a wider variety of, of Dremels and, and other and other things to remove the material. Once it is carved and polished and sanded, you can imagine with a piece of size you can add a tremendous amount of detail. And so all of that takes even more time and stuff, you just keep reducing and reducing. We go through a traditional process of, uh, of uh, gessoing the piece and sizing the piece. Uh, so uh, we'll mix some animal high glue and we'll mix some gesso and do certain layers. What that does is it primes the piece so that it can be painted. Uh, once that is dried, we sand it again, then we start the painting procedure. And the painting procedure, again, is also kind of something that's very time consuming because the way that the application of color is, is that it takes two to three layers to create one color. So there's a lot of layering, a lot of um, sort of glazes that go on top of the piece to finally get it done. Once the piece is finally painted, you know, then we go into sort of the, uh, some glazes, some antiquing processes, uh, prior to the final varnish, usually takes two to three coats of varnish after that. We try to use um, non-yellowing conservation varnish that has UV protection.
detectors and you know, helps protect the piece down the line. Um, and uh, finish it off with a light wax and then voila, hundreds of hours later. <laughs>